and then many are japa it's answer justice has been served right then it's in america sir answer me come as a minister so up curtains and window blinds for your home and offices sir then one happy life curtains and window blinds installation i'm a number of mudidi jumani zero five five eight five four zero zero nine zero a bium no so up healthy juices and smoothies for all occasions sir contact dosa smoothies and treats one number what did you manage zero five four six zero five zero nine zero zero now honey who hear me pa but more the answer will be share now i like it now i subscribe to our youtube channel at phoenix media studios on all social media platform now also our comments be a watch your comment section ho i feel young quite awesome so Send your make a yourself for once justice has been served in the country. No, about four years ago, na branti ani dindi Mohammed Mustafa adodo na nim no asra malopia. Suu a year rich hospital for the death of ne wife and ne unborn child. Ni esi yene se a branti e dindi yiri kopi mu e wa rich hospital emra a wa akano ne mum ni yome bi a unko ye ma ne yiri faso e training kwa oni abufrani ni na when ni na si December twenty nineteen. And I'm or yawa branti a fair muntino, and my a year later, pepe pepe, or cosui Ministry of Health, Attorney General, and Accra Regional Hospital for the negligence that caused the death of his wife and the unborn child. Now say, be a wound him as same ye farabaya. Ya bebo video of an interview a branti a ye in a city TV for a nyayo. Our church remuni a baya and a year in a bano a free mu. Now, Messer Sobeji Brenna wash a video ya mammy. Mesa kai mu biem se se won like e na won she e ya mesere se wo be bo modia asa like share and comment on this particular video ebusi ya mentna si ye na ha na enije asem no wo after court akoni abani nyina echire no abrante yi etumi ewi ni case no ama the akra high court a wo de abrante yi with 3 million ghana cedis in damages even though sa si ke entumi fa na yire ne ne ba no e mba nkwa mu die now, so for once, no justice has been served right in the country. Um, Ebusia for Eba Momodia and your one on one conversation with Mohammed Mustafa to know how he feels now. A Hana Medimo Bessi and Amonje Brenna Monsha video, ya Babe Boy, to know more about the cause of the wife's death. Mediani Lady V, follow me on all social media platforms at Lady V Official GH. Makram. When the 31-year-old Ikuya Nyako Seibunsu settled on the Ridge Hospital for her antenatal visits, little did she know that she would not be walking out with her baby in her arms, let alone her life. Sadly, not only did the young nurse lose her baby shortly after delivery, but she died too. So it was through the Doppler scan that they realized that she had a condition called IUGR which in their medical term, ultra, altering uh, gestation restriction, which is something that reduces the, 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 the weight of the kid. So what they will do is that they will remove the kid so that they will put the kid in a neonatal care for the kid to develop from there. And it, she was in the eighth, eighth month, and I think two weeks or so. Uh -huh. Then the next day, the doctor that came to see her said they will still go ahead with the surgery. But another, uh, the first batch left in the morning. They come as a group. You know, reach have that system where they have about four or five doctors coming to you at a time. Uh -huh. So when they came, but they have head of every team. So I think after, after it all, they decided to do the surgery. But the second group that took over from the first group came with the notion that they would put her on a drug for eight days. So that after the eight days, they would check to see whether she would be improving. The first group that came said no, they will still go ahead with the uh, surgery. So they went ahead. Then 9010, which is 19, they checked the child still. It was still 1 over 10, and the child passed on. I met her in the evenings of two, uh, Monday morning evening. That was, let's say, 12 hours after cesarean session. Only for me to come home and return the next day and be told she's passed on. But the bereaved husband and sister was foul play, explaining that his wife's death could have been avoided had health staff at the Ridge Hospital provided better care. I applied for autopsy, which they did in my presence. And the situation was, that I was told was pulmonary embolism. So, meaning uh, it is blocking of the lungs, which has to do with blood clot that was 
formed from the leg moved through and when you go to the lungs the valves in the lung it blocked my little check on the causes of the pulmonary embolism showed to me that there are precautionary measures that are often taken to prevent it and it's part of the protocol of every hospital that delivers women so what i did was that i tried to inquire from the hospital whether they took those precautionary measures now the hospital administration agreed and gave me a report there are precautionary drugs or precautionary measures that are often taken and part of it is a drug that they often administer now from my own checks what i realized was that my wife was not giving that drug he has therefore filed a suit against the hospital demanding five million cities in compensation from the management of the facility for his troubles they wrote, they wrote in the report that the, uh, it's part of the protocol of the hospital to administer it. But the husband did not procure it, even though it was prescribed. So they implicated me that I was the one who couldn't procure the drug for her. That is why they could not get the drug to administer to her. When, after I realized that the, 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 the facility could not provide the medication, and they did that and intentionally tried to implicate me, I went to the hospital administration and checked from, their, from my wife's receipt of drugs that we procured. And interestingly, I realized that the name of the drug that the hospital mentioned that I didn't buy was bought. The name of the drug is Fragmen, and it is an anticoagulant. 12 hours after cesarean session is when it becomes eminent that blood clotting can be formed. And she died in the 18th hour. Between the 12th hour to the 18th hour, they could have even allowed her to walk a little bit, which is often done at certain hospitals, to prevent blood from clotting. They did not do that. Yeah, the suit was filed last week, and we're hoping this week they will be saved, so that uh, subsequently whatever the legal uh, procedures has to do will follow, will follow and then come to a logical conclusion of whatever we'll be expecting from the court. Uh, I'm suing them 5 million Ghana cities for the damage that they've caused to me. Sister of the deceased also spoke about how the loss has affected the family. The news of her getting married got all of us happy. But to hear of her sudden demise was, was a big blow to us and to all the family. Yes, For having lost her and then the baby as well, it hasn't been easy for us. Even in this time, we still remember her and we feel she, she didn't die because I feel there was something that could have been done for her to have her back to life, which was never done. So, Although City News reached out to officials of the Rage Hospital for comments, they declined to speak on the matter. Reporting for City News, I am Nashika Caesar.